What do you get when you put a brand new SIM on an empty lot with no money, activate all lot challenges, and expect her to have 100 babies? You get the Extreme 100 Baby Challenge. Hi, everybody. It's Andrea, a.k.a. Violet Kitty 411 and we are back in Hanford on Bagley with my sim self, Miss Rhea Avis, and her ever-changing brood of children. We currently have five in the house. We've got Lex Richards, uh, Maeve Romeo, Nell Schmidt, and twins Orn and Prank Palacios who are hopefully mer children. Okay, so we're hoping, we're hoping because they don't get a designated bassinet, so I don't know for sure. Okay, but I also did certain things. I added a bunch of things, as you may know, because I've referenced it and I also did a side pack, is I added were werewolves. But because I added werewolves, all of a sudden I started feeling like to make it a whole thing, I needed to have vampires and realm of magic. And as long as I was getting those, I may as well get Discover University and Eco Lifestyle. And then, of course, a whole bunch of stuff packs. So I have all of the expansions, most of the game packs, minus wedding stories and Batu, and the majority of the stuff packs no kits though and of course no custom content and just a handful of mods for just very small purposes tweaks here and there but yeah okay but because we added eco lifestyle that meant that Rhea had to add another lot challenge we had to add reduce and recycle which gave us another goal that we have to pursue however because we did that we also made a couple changes to the house if I hadn't added reduce and recycle, I could have probably just gone on with business as usual, but I'm trying to be as fair and interesting as possible. So we have a bunch of turbines up here on the roof, so that'll help reduce. The number one reason we needed to add those was because of reduce and recycle, because I had to have something to power the recycling machine. And I don't know how much power they put out, but they have a pretty high power uh, they're they're very green and they have a pretty high energy output so we're hoping and of course on a daily basis we harvest quite a lot of money so money is no object I wasn't worried about water because we can collect water from the pond so life isn't going to be terribly different and fortunately Rhea doesn't have to work anymore she does still have four days of vacation and when those run out she'll just retire from her job as the uh, food critic of the world. Okay, so let's get on with the show. We do have Lex who needs to, uh, he's working on his artistic prodigy. I don't know if he's got anything else completed. No, he does not. We're not worried about that. Uh, we have Maeve who is also pursuing artistic prodigy. Now she is actually going to be pursuing uh, the culinary aspiration and little Nell is about ready to take a nap and then of course the babies are just babies and so they do what babies do which is in Sims 4 just be objects that's all there is to it they're just objects I really miss the babies that are more than objects and so Rhea also needs to continue working on the rocket ship because we need to be able to do instant upgrades so she can get animals because I'm not going to get animals until I have their sheds completely upgraded. So let's get on with it. This is her last upgrade. I had no clue that she was so close so she'll definitely finish this part of her aspiration this time. Oh but before we do that you know what we need to do? We need to sell some money fruit. Okay that's actually more important. And then we will actually have the club engage in some gardening to, because we've got some bugs happening. We're not worried about money at all. Okay, 10 garden together. And once everybody starts to tend the garden, then she'll work on her rocket ship again. I 
think everybody's probably started. Yep, they're all working on gardening. Oh, she's lost a celebrity level, but we're not worried about that. Oh, Lex, what are you doing? Did you finish your last drawing? You did not. That's not good, little man. So I haven't played with this at all, and I guess she knows exactly what to do. We're putting things in the recycling. Yay! Great job. Now sort out compostables, Raya. That's great for you. That's very responsible. Are there no res oh no no compostables? Okay, that's great. And now let's get back to building your rocket ship. Oh, look at this. My bunny basil has finally been freed of being frozen. But there's a fox basil. Be careful. Be careful, basil. I love you. And unfortunately, I had switched Rhea's aspiration to do gardening. And she finished the last upgrade while she was on that aspiration. So that was a bummer. And she's getting going to get attacked by plasma bats unless I give... Yep, there we go. Go here. That does it. Done. And now that we have power, we're not going to use it all, but the kids can practice typing here at home. Baby sister is feeling a bit lonely, but she's overall having a good time. And she's actually in great shape to age up soon but definitely not before midnight so she'll be home tomorrow so Glenn and Maeve are on their way to school should be a great day study hard make good choices oh and the babies are so cute possible little merfolk so Lex is home and he's an A student, so he's ready to grow up. But Maeve, ha you know, she's a B, but that's fine. It was her first day at school. But it's time for Lex to grow up. And then we have to get his responsibility up so he can grow up tomorrow and get him out of the house. So she's got a full kitchen, but now that she has power, she can actually cook. Except for the fact she still has simple living, so she needs some eggs so she can make a cake. All right. Thank you, Raul. I needed that. Is he going to put him in? Does he put him in the refrigerator for me? Is that what he does? Where does he put him? I've literally never purchased groceries before, or at least never to be delivered. So he asked her for a tip and we're like, sure, no problem. I would have given you more than 10 if there was a bigger option, but here you go. Thanks, kid. All right, now go make that cake so your kid can grow up. For some reason, she couldn't get the cake made, but it's time for the little ones to grow up. And Orn is inquisitive. All right, and he's a blondie. as pretty much guaranteed that they're going to be blonde. Okay. And we're going to cancel that, and you're going to age up this one as well. Maybe ask Big Sissy for a bath. Ask Chris for a bath. And Prank is silly. And Prank is little girl. And they're both very cute. And let's see, do either of them have, oh, it doesn't show in, oh, hygiene, I don't know. I don't know if either of them are showing, oh, Orn does not show it at all. Prank is hungry, so I couldn't tell you until, until she eats, but it doesn't look like they count. And the twins are going to start getting a ton of gifts because they have a lot more relatives than anybody else in the family. So, yeah, they're going to, we're going to make a small fortune just selling baby gifts. 
So we had to come to the bar because even though she's got everything she needs, she apparently can't make a cake at home. And that was pretty irritating because she lost a lot of time making two cakes and throwing them away, probably close to four hours. And now uh, Lex is going to be here another day, which means that she'll have a day where she doesn't give birth to a baby. And that's irritating. So she's going to age up. And I blame you, Lex. That where where'd the cake go? Where 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 did where did the cake go? You were carrying it. Where did it go? There it is. Okay. Oh my gosh. That was really upsetting. Okay. Okay, so we're he's not going to school today, which means he's not going to be growing up today. Blow out the candles, Lex. We're so far overdue. All right, and he rolled out of 1 and 14 and 8. He's a knowledge sim and a slob. And let's see, out of 1 to 7, he gets a... Seven. Okay, archaeology. Yay! Okay, put candles back on that, and we're going home. I know. All right, come on. Put candles on the put candle put put candles put candles on the cake. Seriously, this is not rocket science. What your mother does at home is rocket science. Okay, Raya, maybe you. Should. Okay, there we go. And so he's not going to school today, and neither is little little Nell. Help her grow up. I'm not going to lie. I'm really irritated right now because I'm really facing a full house, and she's never had a full house to date. Add the birthday candles. And it's really upsetting because... Everything should have worked. Okay, she is a glutton, and she rolled a three, which is motor. They don't go hand in hand, but okay. All right, and we'll get her added to the club so she can feel better because she's got a full bladder and she's tired. Well, since Lex isn't going to school today, I'm putting him on toddler duty for the day, and Rhea still needs to continue working on her building project because she probably just entered her third trimester or she's yeah she's in her third trimester and yeah oh and she's been attacked by voodoo oh Rhea I'm sorry that kind of sucks for you and so she doesn't get oh I didn't even realize look at this mother and daughter dressed alike and that's sweet uh so yeah she gets to work on her skills and Rhea gets to work on her also her skills it's just I'm so irritated because I thought I had everything in order I'm very irritated right now so the twins are watching each other and in addition to baby duty I have Lex harvesting uh, the trees and that should have actually yep at least he got that I gave him a fabulous fabulously wealthy before I refer revert him to his knowledge aspiration of archaeology there we go and since Rhea was gonna go to work I stopped her at the last second and told her to quit and so yeah she missed out on a couple days of pay that's really small potatoes in our world asking if we want to make a donation to charity Absolutely. At this point, that's all we got to do. We got 1.5 million simoleons. We haven't got enough to do with it. Okay, so Prank is a mermaid. Look at this right down here in her needs. It doesn't show except for this little icon, but Prank is a mermaid. We have one mermaid. Yay! Okay, Maeve is miserable, but she's a miserable A student, and we'll get that worked out for her. Good girl, Maeve. And Maeve is our next problem solver, so she will be 
fulfilling the <laughs> Master Chef aspiration. Okay, Rhea put the candles back on. But we will also choose an aspiration for her other than Master Chef. Well, Maeve, are you going to grow up? Apparently not. Try again. She was the one that wasn't growing up before, too. Okay, put the candles on. Okay, that's the second. She was not growing up last time. I think she was also in a sn snarky mood, and there's a fox in the house. Okay, there we go. Third time's a charm. It was last time. She's confident. She's cheerful. This is actually really good for her. Okay, one moment. So she's confident. She's cheerful. And she would be a friend of the animals. Except, oh, isn't she cute? Except we are transferring her to be the master chef. And that will fix the filthy trait. Thanks, Maeve. So the first thing we're going to have Maeve do is she's going to start making garden salads one by one. Everybody gets an individually made garden salad. Compliments of Maeve. Thanks, sweetheart. Oh, good. Finally, Rhea's upgrade is complete. Now she just needs to fix her upgrade five objects around the house. That'll be easy. All right, and here we are. And go. Always really instills confidence when, you know, your doctor freaks out. Let's go, Rhea. really scares me that Trevor just doesn't feel confident about this. She's like, oh, well, you might not be adept at this, but I know what I'm doing. Good job, Nell. It's a boy! And Q, O, P, Q. Okay, so we'll name him Quint. And a girl! We'll name her... Hmm. Let's see. QR... We'll name her Ray. Not Raya, Ray. Okay, that's not going to be a problem at all. Oh, we've got blue skin. We've got blue skin. Okay, well, I'm going to go pick up a... I can't have another baby. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. I can't have another baby, but I can line up a baby daddy. So I'm going to go do that. So we're back at the Grim Tooth Bar where we've got a better chance of meeting somebody of a not-quite-human persuasion. Although it's pretty late at night. Uh, nope, okay. I mean, she's not quite human, but... I'm hoping to find... Hold, hold it, who's over here? Ah, Felipe. Felipe Madison. Aren't you my gardener? Ask about career. He's a gardener. Yeah, he's her gardener. That's what I thought. Okay, never mind. Pretty sure he's not non-human. And we've got two female spellcasters here, and I haven't ruled out the idea of female donors, but that's only for non-humans and only if I get desperate. 
Okay, nobody's showing up. All right, got to go back to home. And we're at home, and both Quint and Ray apparently have blue skin. Let's go take a look at them. And yay, it's true. I have blue skin babies. All right. Bottle rock. So I have one mer baby and two alien babies. Yay. Okay, Lex is feeling less than 100% fine, but we're going to go off to school while Mom takes care of things at home. Like this. Children are playing. Yay. All right, Rhea, great job. Perfect. Frank is doing great. Her father is the villain of the sea, and he would be so proud. Yay! Okay, good girl, sweet girl. My little surprise mermaid. Why don't you go play in the ball pit? Lex swiped an object at school. We are so proud. But more importantly, Lex is an A student, and Lex can get his butt out of here. But not before he calms down, because he's enraged, and he's not a werewolf, so we can't justify it. And Maeve, my little chef, is blowing out her candles. Or not, because she apparently has a hard time blowing out candles. Try it again, sweet girl. Don't check your selfie. Add candles. And blow them out again. I don't know what the deal is, why she can't seem to blow out candles. Okay, and Rhea, you add candles. Maeve, please grow up. Or not, apparently. Okay, Maeve, blow out the candles. Oh, nice. He farted. Okay. Add birthday candles. Liter literally, Maeve, why are you not growing up? Okay. Blow out candles. I don't know why. Sh this is not rocket science. Blow out the candles. Everybody, okay, grow up, please, please grow up. Okay. Could you add the candles? All right. And blow out the candles. This is now, what, the fifth try? Are we not... Okay, there we go. Oh, my goodness. And you're lazy. Okay, that's fine. We'll allow it. Add birthday candles, Lex. And now you blow out the candles. Now, I don't recall this being a problem for you on any of your birthdays. Please just grow up because I just, I need you out of the house and out of the club. Oh, jeez. Blow out the candles. I don't know what... Oh, you stink, Nell. Nell, you stink. Okay, he is having a hard time blowing out candles, too. And I've got a toddler that needs some... Okay, I don't know what the deal is. Maybe you guys don't like the way this kitchen is designed? Okay, there we go. All right, you're a bookworm, you're a kleptomaniac. Oh, you're gonna buy, you're gonna steal antique books. You've already started by doing that from school. Okay, and you're a slob. Okay, great. Well, we're gonna give you 200,000 simoleons and move you out. 
Thanks for playing, and you're also out of the club. Thanks, Lex. So we are going to get Maeve a job in the culinary arts, and we're going to kick Lex out of the club because, well, he's a, he's a thief, and we don't want him stealing from us. There we go. Thanks for playing, Lex. I love you, but go steal from other people, okay? Thanks. All right, Maeve. And there we go. Criminal culinary. Starting as a caterer. Today is Wednesday. So, oh, maybe you get to go tomorrow? Hopefully. Did you get your job in time that you get to go tomorrow? Oh, oh and the babies are crying. Babies are crying. Yes, you get to go tomorrow. Wonderful. Well, with that, I am actually going to wrap this up, leave Rhea not pregnant for the time being. Uh, we've only got room for one baby in the house, but that's okay. And hopefully we'll get started soon. And I'll see you soon in the pixelated world. And that's all I have to say. BK out.